Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at averages and measures of spreads on the GDC. We're going to be using the CG50 in this video. Okay, so example one says some data was recorded about the scores in maths assignments. The scores are listed below and it gives you this list of the scores in those maths assignments. The question asks, for this list, find the median, find the range, and it also asks you to draw a box plot to represent this data. So we're going to get to our GDC, and we're going to use the GDC to calculate this. We'll go to the statistics, and we'll enter our uh, data, enter our list of data. When you're pressing each number, just press EXE after each number to move to the next row. Like this. Now when you've entered this, we're going to go to Calc, and we're going to uh, change the settings. We're going to change the settings like this uh, to make sure the list one, the frequency of list one is set to one because it's a list. And you can click exit and then one var, and it gives you all the date, all the statistics on this data here. So we entered that data first, then we went to calc, then we changed the settings. Once we sorted the settings out, we set the list two. Sorry, the list one frequency to be one. We pressed exit and then one var. Because it's one variable statistics and it gives us all the statistics we could ever want like that. Now it looks like this, the all information looks like this, and it tells us the med, the med, the median is 15. And it also tells us the range by doing the maximum minus the minimum. The max from the GDC is 20. That's also kind of obvious from just looking at the list, looking for the biggest number in the list. And the minimum is 6. 20 minus 6 is 14. So the median is 15. The range is 14. Now to draw a box plot, we care about the minimum, the Q1, lower quartile, the median, the med, Q3, the upper quartile, and the max, like this. So the minimum is 6, Q1 is 12.5, medium is 15, Q3 is 17.5, and max is 20, and we draw a box plot like this. If you need to revise box plots, I will link uh, my box plots video in the description below, and I'll also link it at the top of this video as well. And that is how we deal with the list of numbers using the GDC. Now just to refresh the settings there, because it's really important, you use a variable one frequency, one variable frequency, you set that to one if it's just a list of data. Whereas if it's a frequency table, you set one variable frequency to be list two. So we've got uh, the list is the settings we use on the left and the frequency table is what we use on the right. So just be careful there. It is a really important step. You need to sort that out. Now, uh, our school records the number of late marks over the course of a few weeks. The data is displayed in the frequency table below. And the first question says, is the data discrete or continuous? Well, continuous data is data that can take any value, whereas discrete value, discrete data can only take specific values. Often, discrete data will be just integer values. Integer means whole number. Here, the number of lates can only be a whole number. Therefore, the data is discrete. Okay? So, we write discrete. What, uh, we asked to find the mean, the modal number of lates, the interquartile range, and the standard deviation. And we'll use a GDC to do this for us. We'll go to statistics, and in the interest of time, I already wrote in all of the data into the table like this. Again, you're just using EXE. We're also using the arrow buttons on the calculator to move from one side to the other, one list to the other. We'll go to calc, and we'll choose settings, and we'll set the one variable frequency to be list two, because list two is our frequency list. We'll go to exit, then one var, 
and we have all the information here that we want. Like this. Perfect. That's all we need. And it looks like this. Now, what is the mean number of lights? Well, that's given by x bar. So that it's the very first number in the list of data. x bar is 2.89. Uh, and we can write it like this. In IB, we always write things to three significant figures. So we'll write this to three significant figures as well. What is the modal number of lights? Well, that's given by mod at the bottom. It's three. But it's also just the most common number of lights. And the highest frequency in this list is 15. And 15 matches to 3. So that kind of makes sense as well without even thinking about the GDC. But the GDC tells us it anyway, so useful. What is the interquartile range? Well, that's Q3 minus Q1, the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. And that's 4 minus 2, which is 2. And the standard deviation is given by the sigma symbol, which is uh, this. on the list, it's sigma x, which rounds the thesis figures as 1.44, and we're done. Excellent. I have one more example to show you, and this is for a grouped frequency table. And it says the heights of some athletes are measured as part of an experiment. The data is presented below in a grouped frequency table. And it's got the height the, between 150 and 160, so it's a grouped frequency table. The heights are measured uh, put into groups. We have to state whether this is discrete or continuous, estimate the mean, and state the modal class. Okay, the first thing we need to do here is we need to find the midpoints of all the groups. And so we add a new column to the group frequency table, and that is midpoint, it's 155, 165, 175, and 190. Where well, the midpoint of the last group you have to be careful of because it's a bigger group. It's from 180 to 200, which is a very uh, big group. Now, if you got to say, uh, is this discrete or continuous? It is continuous because the height of an athlete can be any number in the range. It is not constrained to specific values. So the height can be any value, therefore it's continuous. And I've added the midpoint column, as I was saying, and again, the midpoint is just halfway between the small number in the group and the big number in the group. Halfway between 150 and 160 is 155. I had to do that myself using my own brain. Now I'm going to put that data into the calculator and we're going to put the midpoints into list one. Once you put all the midpoints into list one, we're going to go to frequency and you're going to put the frequency into list two. And when you're ready, you're going to go to calc and change the settings so that list two, the variable frequency is set to list two. Like that. Go to exit and then select one variable as we did before. And we have all of the data uh, we wanted. And it looks like this. X bar is 166 to 36 figures. And the model class is the class with the highest frequency, and you can see from the list, 12 is the highest frequency, and that corresponds with the molar class of 160. It's less than equal to x, it's less than 170. Like this. Fantastic, and we have done. Thank you for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. We'd also appreciate if you uh, share this with your friends, with your teachers, with your classmates, etc. So that everyone can benefit from our resources. Check out advancedmaths.com for some more amazing resources to help you revise. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.